Hello, MPS families, and welcome to your quick tutorial on how to create yourself a free Google email address. So I'm going to link this URL in the bottom of this video underneath in the comments section. So if you don't know how to get to this, you can just click on my link below and you'll be directed directly to this page. So all you're going to do is put in your first name and your last name. And you are going to come up with a username. So try to make it simple but unique enough that nobody else will have it. So I usually make it pretty simple, um, something I can remember. And then here, oh, and it tells me that that username is already taken. So I'm going to try another one. Nope. And I just might have to keep trying them until. Um, until it sticks. OK, so something that makes sense to me that you will be able to use that nobody else has. It also underneath here will give you suggestions. Make sure it's something that you can remember or you write down in a safe place. You're going to then create a password. And it has to be a combination of letters, has to be eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. I'm going to hit next. And on here, you can skip this area. This is for security only. You do not have to give your phone number out. And you do not have to have a recovery email. This is if you've already had an email, where would they send that to? On here, you can put your birth date or your gender, but I think you don't even have to do any of this information if you don't want to give out private or personal information. Oh, it does ask you to do your birth date, probably for age verification. Okay, and next. And then it goes through your privacy terms, where you can read through any of this, any more options. Um, you can decide to save histories or not. I'm going to hit I agree. And on here, I have created my email account. Right away, if you notice, it gives me a logo here. And right here, we call this the waffle. This is where you can always come when you go on to Google Chrome. And you will be able to access your Gmail account here. This is where you will go and you will get notifications from PowerSchool. And you can use this email when signing up for a PowerSchool account. If you have more questions or concerns, please contact your child's school. Thank you.